Animal rescue organizations across the province are trying to fill the gaping hole left in their books after the province announced it was going to slash funding. When he delivered the news, Housing and Social Development Minister Rich Coleman singled out the World Parrot Refuge in Coombs as an example of a group that doesn't deserve government help. A News reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He joins us now from our Mid-Island Bureau. Brent? Eric, times are tough and money is tight, so it comes as no real surprise the province is reevaluating which charitable organizations are receiving funding. And while the World Parrot Refuge may not be on that list to get funding, the staff there didn't take too kindly to being put down in this year's budget. There are plenty of ruffled feathers at the World Parrot Refuge these days, and not just among the hundreds of rescued birds. We're not impressed. That's a good way to put that. Not impressed because signs like this hanging in the World Parrot Refuge gift shop will have to come down. Like many animal rescue organizations across B.C., the World Parrot Refuge is partly funded by the province through money collected from gaming. But this year, in these tough economic times, that money isn't coming. Housing and Social Development Minister Rich Coleman said because parrots aren't an indigenous bird to British Columbia, they wouldn't be getting the $100,000 the group had requested. Those comments didn't go over too well among staff here at the Parrot Refuge. Well, we find it a bit sad, personally, because the government makes money off the taxes and every bird that's sold, but yet they see them as not indigenous up here, so what, we don't look after them? This sign will soon need updating. Another 16 rescued parrots are on their way to the refuge from Alberta, bringing the total closer to 800 birds. The loss of provincial funding will be tough to make up, but the World Parrot Refuge is pressing forward with the help of friends and neighbors. It's been pretty exciting because even with that downfall, we've had so many up things, right? The, the thrift store, the neighbors coming and helping us. The vet, local vet helps us a lot. Like everybody stepped forward and helped the birds because it really is about the birds. We, we take so much enjoyment from them. To make up the shortfall, the Parrot Refuge is getting creative. Soon these buildings will be renovated into a thrift store, and the organization is going to step up its fundraising. Staff here say there's no way the refuge could close because there's nowhere else for these birds to go. If the province isn't willing to help the World Parrot Refuge financially, the organization would like to see it somehow help to ban the sale of parrots and other exotic birds. Too many of those animals wind up discarded by their owners or outlive them. Those birds have to go somewhere, and places like the Parrot Refuge are left trying to find ways to pay for the care for those animals. Eric? Seems like a nice place to visit. Well, if you got earplugs, yeah, it's pretty noisy in there. <laughs> Brent Shearer in Nanaimo tonight. Thank you, Brent. Thank you.